Neil Gessa have just launched single player quizzes, which is not something I expected them to do, but look, we've got flags of the world, foods of the world, we've got a music quiz, which isn't even geo related, I don't think. So I've not clicked on any of these yet, I've also not watched anyone else play them. It's a new Geo Guesser feature, so I thought we could give it a go. Obviously, to begin with, we'll start with flags of the world. Right, so apparently it's gonna take me nine minutes to play this, and we've got 12 questions, okay? I am ready. Which country has this flag? Oh, and then I go over here and I click on it. Right, so I, uh, I, uh, that's Uruguay, isn't it? Uh, let's uh, go and click and guess. Yes, we did it! <laughs> start next round. What's the country? So it is actually still kind of Geo Guesser themed, isn't it? Because you've still got the map over here. That is a nice easy one. That would be South Africa. Okay. Ah, oh, thank you very much for all the confetti. Starting the next one. What's this country? Three of 12. Here we go. Which country has this flag? That would be Norway, please. Guess. Thanks very much. It started off with a trickier one, Uruguay, but then the others have been very easy since then. Oh, that is definitely more obscure. I want to say Tanzania. I'm going for it. It is Tanzania. I wouldn't have bet my life on that one. Next round. Next round. Go on. We've got to get them all for the flags, okay? And then I can get all the other quizzes wrong. I just want to get all of these for the flags. Here we go. What is it? What is it? All right. Back to being nice and straightforward. We've got Vietnam. Make sure that's Vietnam rather than Cambodia or Laos. Yeah, we're good. <laughs> Next, please. Thank you very much. <laughs> what country has this flag? Oh, could catch a few people out. Clicking on this one's going to be the hardest point because we need San Marino. Where is San Marino? I don't think I've ever actually zoomed in on it before. Oh my god, I've only got 28 seconds. Oh, it's there. It's there. So it was a bit further down. Okay, we're good. Guess. <laughs> that was a little bit scary. What's the country? This is round 7 of 12. Come on, we've got to get 12 out of 12. Which country has this flag? That would be Bhutan, please. Bhutan, guess. Yes, very nice. Uh, that would be Thailand. Not to be mistaken with Costa Rica. Yeah, it's definitely Thailand. Definitely Thailand, because Costa Rica's got a little symbol. Yes, good. Excellent. 5,000 points, so I don't actually know how the points work. If I was to click Cambodia, would I get 4,500 points? I don't know. I guess we'll have to get a question wrong and we'll find out. Which country has this flag? It's Venezuela, isn't it? Hang on. The little flag's down the bottom. Is that just something they've not thought of yet? Because this only came out like two days ago. I can see it's Venezuela. <laughs> I wonder how many of you noticed that before me. Which country has this flag? Ooh, Tunisia or Morocco? It's one of the- oh, how- Okay, I may have just cheated, I'm not gonna lie. Tunisia was my first guess though, okay? Shush. We are on number 12 though. Which country has this flag? Nice and easy. That is Egypt. No cheating. I won't click on anything so that we don't cheat in this final one. Quiz time? Oh god, what is this gonna be? Which country has this flag? Oh, it's multiple choice. Okay, well, the answer is Bahamas. It's a nice flag. I like the blue. So I wonder why they do a multiple choice for the final round. Okay, we'll go for Bahamas. Oh, it was time-based. Ah, oh, we could have had a perfect score. I knew it was Bahamas right off the bat, but I was just chatting away. That is so frustrating. 59,200 uh, because I didn't just click straight away. I'm not going to go through all this again. I just want to see, is it like fixed questions or is it just random? I'm assuming it would be random though. Which country has this? Oh, yeah, it's Uruguay. And then is the second one going to be South Africa? Let's find out. Here we go. And uh, yeah, the second one's South Africa. I'm guessing maybe it's in development because I don't know why you wouldn't make something like Flags of the World just random every single time so that people could play over and over again. We will give a go on famous landmarks, but I will be honest, I'm probably not going to be good at anything else here other than Flags of the World, but let's see what happens. Find the spot. One of 14. Right, I'm not going to be good at this. Pinpoint this landmark. Stonehenge. How specific do I have to be? I know it's in the UK. Do I I just click oh god it's in Wiltshire I think where's Wiltshire it's like somewhere around here uh, I don't actually know it doesn't show me counties on this map that's so sad it's definitely around this area though isn't it is it in Wiltshire Shropshire is it in Shropshire I might stick with Shropshire you know I know it's near a motorway as well isn't it <laughs> oh there's a timer there's a timer okay we'll stay where we are and see what happens let's go for it uh, ah, oh, it was back down. Yeah, it was in Salisbury. So originally I was here, which would have been really close, and then I changed to Shropshire. I don't know what happened. But hey, the whole world was up for grabs and we were 100 miles away, so that's nice start. Quiz time? Okay, we have to answer quickly, all right? God, I'm stressed now. What is the height of this landmark? Uh, it's Arc de Triomphe. Uh, I'll go 50. It was 50. And we got 5,000 points because we were quick. It was just a guess, I'll be honest. Find the spot. God, I'm stressed. <laughs> oh, this is way more fun than Flags of the World. There's a bit more to it. Brooklyn, New York. Uh, it looks like pretty central New York, doesn't it? Is it like almost on Times Square? Here we go, here we go. Here's Brooklyn, Barclays Center. We've got a minute, so maybe we can get it almost spot on. Uh, we have an Amazon bookstore. Can we actually move around? We can. Starbucks coffee. I want like a big, big building that'll be a bit of a giveaway. We'll look for a street
street name then in that case. Uh, what's this? The Graduate Center. Can we see that anywhere? It's got to be definitely around where I've clicked already. No, let's look for a sign then. One way, 5th Avenue. Okay, I don't know how American streets work. 9th Street, 3rd Avenue, 4th Avenue, 5th Avenue, 5th Avenue, and East 34. I'm about to run out of time. I've clicked here. Uh, it's probably not too far away. Oh, it was actually up here. Ah, right. Fair enough. Yeah, I don't know how the streets work then. It was literally on the Empire State Building. A few Americans were shouting at me for that one. Thinking about it, we are playing a landmarks quiz, so it would make sense to look for a landmark. Ooh, okay. I reckon I can find that. Leaning Tower of Pisa is up here somewhere. Yep, yep, yep. Zooming on Pisa. Is it that? Todi Pisa? I don't know what the Italian translation is. I don't think it is that. We should be able to see it from quite far away, surely. I wonder if I should just stick with this thing. It is that. Guess. Perfect. Fantastic. Very nice. Quiz time. Okay. Answer quickly. Answer quickly. <laughs> In which city is this landmark located? I don't know what that is. I'll go Munich. Ah, oh, I was wrong. Berlin. What was it? It should really tell me what it was. Was it the Brandenburg? Oh, I don't know. Let's just click the next round. <laughs> oh, find the spot. Remember to look for a landmark, Jack. Ooh. What have we got here? What's that say? Colonial Garden? The other sign had Japanese on, I thought. Or maybe Chinese. Cloud Forest Flower Dome. Don't actually recognise this landmark. Colonial Garden. It does say Colonial Garden. Oh, there's a few different Asian languages. Could we be in Singapore, maybe? Seeing as English seems to be the primary signs? Singapore's not too big, so hopefully we would spot a Colonial Garden. No, I don't think it is. Yeah, it's probably really well known, this, but I just... I'm not really up to date on my landmarks. We've got a minute, so we might have to look for a flag that might like jump our memory. Unfortunately, we're going incredibly slowly. Come on! Look at that, there's a big garden on the roof. That's incredible. Do we recognize anything there? No, I don't, I don't. Gardens by the Bay, Bay South, Malay Garden. Where is that? I don't think we're in Singapore, are we? Well, where else could we be? I'm not gonna find it in time. Oh no, 14 seconds. I'm trying here for no particular reason. I'm just trying to have a look. Oh yeah, I'm not getting this one. Definitely not getting this one. No! All right, go on then. Where were we? Oh! <laughs> it was Singapore. There it is. Gardens by the Bay. Well, I could have gone a lot worse. We're three miles away. All right, then. <laughs> Let's play the next one. Okay, we've got two minutes. Ah, oh, easy. San Francisco. Down we go. Whereabouts is it? Golden Gate Bridge. Do not mind if I do. Boom. That's right. I just said boom while playing GeoGuessr. 5,000 points. Let's play the next one. Who is not on Mount Rushmore? Oh, um, John Adams. Yes. Yeah. <laughs> Find the spot, find the spot. Okay, I'm looking around already. Uh, it looks quite warm. I do not recognize it right off the bat. Time fiber home broadband. Okay, very nice. City bus for where? I'm gonna have to fly around here because I'm not recognizing anything. Where's this then? Big blue taxi. Dot MY. MY's Malaysia, and I guess the people look Malaysian, don't they? It probably is Malaysia. So if we go to the capital of Malaysia and see if we can spot anything that's kind of being referenced. Where actually are we? Return back to the start because we need to be at a checkpoint, don't we? Sorry, at a landmark. Zaria KLCC. I see KL. So I think we're definitely in the right area. I'll click around here in the meantime. Oh, that's almost it. What's the landmark then? Is it this building? Is it just a well-known building in Malaysia? Do you know what? I think I might just stay where I am. I'm gonna stay where I am. Okay, here we go. Uh, okay. We were 2.6 miles away. I think that's still pretty decent, isn't it? In which country is that angle what located? The Cambodia. <laughs> yes! <laughs> Next round, next round. Oh, I think we're at Big Ben. That, if I'm not mistaken, that's Big Ben. Yeah. Do, 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 do. There's no time limit on this one, is there? So I can find the exact right spot. Westminster, Big Ben, and we are about here, aren't we? Wait, let's get the exact location. Yeah, 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 yeah. Guess. Ah, oh, 5,000 points, 15 yards. Very nice. What is the official name of the tower in which Big Ben is located? It's the Elizabeth Tower. <laughs> That's right, Chuck knows stuff. In which city will you find this landmark? Uh, Seattle, Seattle, Seattle Space Needle. My mum's been there, she went there with work. <laughs> Next round, final one. Is that the Seattle Space Needle or is it just someone that looks similar? Okay, we only have a minute for this one. I don't think that is the Seattle Space Needle. What does that say? Renaissance Hotel. Can I find a flag? We do have some flags. What flag is that? Can't really see it. That's annoying. This is written in English though. It looks like America. Hall of Fame. Hockey. Should I go wild and go Canada because I saw the word hockey? I feel like we should. I'm going Toronto, you know. Those flags could be Canadian, to be fair. Yeah, they are Canadian. We're going to lock in Toronto. Go on. It could be Ottawa. Ha <laughs> ha
<laughs> I've gotten so lucky. <laughs> I saw the word hockey and I clicked Canada. Oh my god, well that was epic! That's a really respectable score, right? Okay, should we play speed run to finish off? I think we maybe do. A real speedy challenge. Do you know which countries have these famous places? Fasten your seatbelts. You have less than 10 seconds. I'm probably not gonna do great here. We did good on the other two though, so I'm happy with that. What's the country? Okay, I'm ready, I'm ready, I'm ready. Hey, I will cheat if I need to. In which country could you find this landmark? Uh, USA. Yes, nice. Okay, we have to get the 5,000 points. In which country can you find this building? Uh, France, France. The Louvre, isn't it? Yes, excellent. In which country can you find this building? City of Rose. Blue Australia, guess. <laughs> okay, next one, next one, next one, next one. In which country can you find this area? Uh, it's Machu Picchu. Is that in Mexico? I'm not 100% sure. Ah, uh, it wasn't. It's was Peru. I think it was Machu Picchu, but I might be wrong. Which country find the statue? Uh, Brazil, Brazil. Rio de Janeiro, uh, Christ the Redeemer. <laughs> in which country can you find this building? Uh... Oh, it's United Arab Emirates, I think. Guess. Yeah, yeah. <sighs> In which country can you find this mountain? Uh, it's Mount Fuji or Fiji, I think, isn't it? Japan, Japan, Japan. Where's Japan? Guess. Yes. <laughs> In which country can you find this building? It's Taj Mahal. Taj Mahal is in India or Bangladesh. And it's in India, isn't it? I got that mixed up in a previous video, didn't I? A lot of Indians and Bangladeshis were very annoyed at me. <laughs> in which country can you find this landmark? Uh, that would be the Sphinx in Egypt. Guess. 5,000 points. We've only got that one wrong so far. That's so annoying. Bloody Peru. Which country can you find this building? That's the Coliseum. I know I'll remember Machu Picchu. Machu Picchu. Machu... Peru shoe. <laughs> It'll always be in my brain now. In which country can you find this mountain? I don't actually know. It's probably Kilimanjaro, which is in Tanzania. I'm gonna guess. <laughs> start the next round, start the next round. Find the spot. Ooh. Do I only have 10 seconds? Is it a geo guess or one? Final question. Pinpoint as close to the location as possible. Okay, it's Bookham Palace. We can find Bookham Palace. We've got uh, a few seconds. Where's Bookham Palace? Oh god, I can't see where Bookham Palace is. Zoom in further, faster. No! <laughs> okay, for future reference, it's close to Westminster. Yeah, I had no idea on that one. I don't know why I went down in Brixton. I should have just zoomed in more and it would have popped straight up, but we were still 2.9 miles away, which is okay. All right, we've got just short 55,000 out of 60, which I'm quite happy with, to be fair. Definitely let me know if you want to see me play these other GeoGuessr quizzes. Thank you for watching, and I will see you later.